Hello, I'm, I'm Tim Durham. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, some tips on how to find the queen. I hope it helps you. Uh, honeybees are, are like a lot of people. They have good days and they have bad days. Uh, if they're having a bad day, I wear a veil. I don't wear a suit. Uh, I get so hot. So Anyhow, I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, most beekeepers, especially beginners, they want to find the queen. I'm 70 years old. I love the Lord. I love my wife. And I want to find the queen when I go in there. I like to see her. So, uh, I've been married to my wonderful wife for 47 years. Now, uh... I'm not going to over over smoke them. Smoke a little puff in there, a little puff in the entrance. I don't want to use too much smoke and get them to running around too too much. All right, I take the top off. Now I'm on I'm on ease and I go slow and, and gentle. I'm taking the inner cover off. Now. In this particular hive, I have a, a, a built-in nine-frame spacer. It's built into the hive body. This, this box, we call it a brood box. It's a deep brood box. And I have these nine-frame spacers built in, and I love them. When you're looking for the queen, position your, if you can, have the sun behind you, and... Reach over and get the the far frame on the on the far outside, like I'm doing here. And when you have these nine frame spacers built in, it, it, it makes it more fun, more convenient. All right, it's very heavy. All right, now it's it's, it's very one just stung me on the leg, and that goes with the game. Now this is a solid frame of honey. It's very unlikely that the queen is on this frame. Very unlikely. So I'm not going to spend much time there, okay? Now, one thing you need to do is familiarize yourself with the drones. Now there's, there's a black drone right there. My, my hive tool is pointing to it. That's a black drone. And uh, there's a drone there that has a lot of yellow on it, okay? And their, their body is more square, uh, elongated, and they have fuzz on the tail. Now, you can pick them up. They do not have a stinger. So, pick up a drone and look at them, study them. There's a reason for that, okay? Uh, when you start looking for the queen, uh, don't look specifically at each bee broadly look at the bees all over the frame and if the queen is on there your eyes will guide you to the queen your eyes will also guide you to the drones because they're larger but if you familiarize yourself with real good what a drone looks like then uh, you won't be thinking well that is that the queen now I've gone to the next frame I raise it up. Okay, now I'm, I'm, okay, this is honey on top. You see this brown? That is cat brood. It's solid. This queen is doing a wonderful job. She's laying in every cell, just about every cell. She's not missing cells. Now, um, when you pick a frame up, you look broadly over the whole frame. And I know because there's only cat brood on here and honey, so it's unlikely that she's on here. Although she, she was on here at one time because she, you see all this cat brood. Now I'm going to flip it over, check the other side, and there's a lot of bees over here. Um, now on this side is, and I'm looking for the queen as we talk, uh, on this side is cat brood and there's also larvae. Um, so, uh, I don't see any, any eggs, and so, 
I want to set this back in the hive. Now, there is a reason why I did, I'm doing this in this order. When I picked this frame up and looked at it, if the queen was on this side of this frame, when I pick this frame up, it's likely that she would run around on the other side of this frame. So, when I pick it up, if, whoop, one just got me on the hand. Uh, if she's on this, on the far side, it's likely, because of the daylight, she would run around on, on my side of this frame. So when I pick it up, I'm, that's, I'm going to be looking at this side of this frame when I pick it up. Um, so when I pick it up, I want to be, I want to look properly. Oh man, she is, do you see all that brown? She is laying beautifully. This is a wonderful queen. All queens are not alike. Uh, I'm going to turn it over. My, my, my. This girl is doing a wonderful job. Look, nothing but solid brood and a little honey. I've got it turned upside down. A little honey at the top. I mean solid brood. Oh man, she is doing she's doing such a wonderful job. I'd love to give her a kiss. Look, I'm I'm not a scholar. I, I would like I, I'm a wannabe communicator. Now, I pull the next frame up, and I'm look as I talk, I'm looking for the queen, and I'm seeing larvae in this in this frame. And um don't spend a whole lot of time on each side. Scan it over good, and then flip it over. And uh, I see eggs on this side. So she has been on this frame recently. I do see eggs. Now I haven't gone in this frame, this hive you know, for a while. So, you, you're seeing what I see. Alright, I'm going to put it down in there. I'm going to pull the next frame up. Now, I'm anticipating finding the queen. Oh, my goodness. Look at that wonderful brood. That, that, that brown you see is brood, and at the top is honey. I doubt she's on this frame because, uh, it's just, now, I don't see her on this frame. Uh, the, down below, on this, on this YouTube, down below, I give specific instructions on how to find the queen. So read that. I'm not a fast, fast typer. It took me a while to do it. And so I'm going to move right along and see if I can spot her. I don't see her here. I, when I find the queen, I still get excited. Oh, there she is. Woo! Oh, she, she's a darling. Look, I'm pointing at her. Can you see her right there? Right there. You, do you see her? Oh, she's a beauty. Oh, and see how she she's longer. Uh, now, this queen has a lot of yellow, but don't get don't get tied up. Look at her. Do you see her? She's not a runner. She's not a hider. Uh, I hope you can see her. I'm going to hold the, a little bit closer to the camera. Uh, okay. Right here she is. Right there she is. Right there. Right there. Oh, she's a beauty. She is a beauty. She is sure enough a queen. Now, um, if you're if you're new at beekeeping, what you can do now she, she doesn't run around very much. She doesn't try to hide from you. A lot of times, when you pick them up like this, uh, I don't know if she senses that you are watching her, but she'll run around the other side. But this queen's she's not a hider. 
but what you can do is turn your head for several seconds then come back and see if you can find her again but this one this queen's easy to find because whoo she's a beauty oh my oh I love her I would love to give her a kiss she is beautiful She's beautiful, and she's doing a wonderful job. Now, she's close to the end bar. I'm going to put her back in the hive. I, I don't want to I don't be in close to this end bar over here when I put her back in because when I put the frames together, I wouldn't want to accidentally mash her. So, look, look. she Here she is right here. Now she's going back toward the center. Now I'm going to put her back in right now while she's kind of back in the center. Now, I'm going to put these frames back in the order. I'm going to move them back order. I'm going to move them back over toward me. And this is the order in which I took them out. And I hope this helps you. And the frame that I put outside, it goes on the end. Oh, man. That is a... She is a royal queen. Uh, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, read the instructions down below. And I, 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 I think I've double-checked it where I corrected any errors. So I'm going to put the, the inner cover back on. Now, this is a single brood chamber hive. It's one box. If you had two boxes on here, then what you would do is take the top box off and set it down and go through each brood chamber just like I did here. There is a, another method if you're having a lot of difficulty finding the queen and you have two boxes, two brood boxes, two boxes just like this and you can't find the queen then uh, this has worked for me many times. You take the inner... Now, visualize this hive being two boxes, two brood chambers, and you can't find the queen. So you would smoke, not the entrance, but you would smoke the top of this brood chamber real heavy, all over, real heavy. That will chase the queen down in the bottom brood chamber. And so you smoke it real heavy, you wait a few seconds, and then you put this queen excluder on top of the bottom brood chamber. And then you can set the, the top brood chamber back on top of this queen excluder. Now the queen will be down here. Now, let them settle down. Wait, maybe wait till the next day. And you can smoke the entrance the next day you can smoke the entrance, this is a smoker, you can smoke the entrance pretty heavy. That will chase a lot of the bees up into the top brood chamber and wait a few seconds and with the top brood chamber setting on this queen excluder, you raise up the queen excluder with the top brood chamber on top of it. Now you have to do this fairly quickly. You raise it up and you've got the top brood chamber on top of it and you look on the bottom of this queen excluder there are good chances you will see the queen on here because she, you smoke the entrance real heavy and she's trying to get away from that smoke. She's trying to go into the top brood chamber so she'll be on the bottom of this queen excluder. So to recap that uh Visualize visualize this top brood chamber having frames in it, a lot of bees. And so you, you smoke them heavily up here, real heavy. And five to ten seconds, you slip this queen excluder between them like so. Let them settle down several hours later or next day. You go back and you smoke the entrance real heavy. 
real heavy and wait five to ten seconds. Now you raise you raise up the queen excluder with the high body and if you do it quickly you will probably see the queen on the bottom of this queen excluder. Uh, if if you if you take this brood chamber off first and and she's on the bottom of this queen excluder, she will quickly run back into the hive. So you have to raise both of them fairly quickly to find her on the bottom of the queen excluder. Now, if you don't find her on the bottom of the queen excluder, then she's she's going to be down here in the bottom brood chamber. So you can take this top brood chamber off and f feel fairly confident that your queen, you do know now that your queen is in this brood chamber and not that one. Now, you can start going through there and looking for her. I hope this helps you. I tell people that uh, the eggs resemble a piece of rice, and they do. Now, this is not a high-tech camera, but do you see the little white dot that the knife is pointing to? That is an egg, and you see the size of the rice. So the egg is maybe a hundred times smaller than a piece of rice, but that's what it looks like. Now, he, there is another egg. So, to, to you, it's, it's elongated, but it's a little white dot. I'm going to uh, get close to a queen cup. Now, you will see these in your hive. It's, it's normal. So, do not be alarmed. I hope the, the, this, I'm pointing to a queen cup. And you will see this in your hive. It's so... It's natural. It doesn't mean that they're trying to raise a new queen or supersede. Right, on this frame right here, uh, this is honey. Here is some cat brood. And you can't see it, but there's larvae. And as you get further out, there's eggs. Now I'm going to turn it over on the other side. Okay. Now, this is a beautiful picture of cat brood. You see this, this is honey at the top, here's honey, here's the cat brood, you see this brown, this is cat brood, and uh, bees, the, everything they do, they do in a, in a sphere, in a circle, not a square, but everything they do is in a circle. If you can draw a, a circle on this capped honey around here, it comes back down here. So. Uh, now, I'm going to, I caught a drone, now, I'm not, going, I'm, not, I'm not hurting him, but this is a drone, and you need to, you need to do this, you need to uh, catch a drone by his wings, and, and, um, uh, Okay, now, uh, his, his abdomen is larger, and he ha on, on the tail, on his tail he has some fuzz. You can't see it in the camera, but he's, he's, he's a larger bee. He does not have a stinger, so you need to catch a drone and look him over and, and get familiar what he looks like.